Hi guys, welcome to your English class. I'm your teacher, Carla, and today we're going to check the unit number five, My Laughing Music, okay? The topics that we're going to check in this video are grammar, present perfect continuous versus present perfect, and obviously the present perfect continuous alone, okay? And about vocabulary, we're going to check making music and musical instruments. We already checked this topic, so it's only going to be a little bit of review, okay? So, uh, before... Um, quiero saludarlos a todos, mandarles un fuerte abrazo. Hemos estado en contacto por medio de Facebook, por medio de WhatsApp, lo cual me alegra mucho, puesto que me doy cuenta que están bien, algunos ya desesperados, pero no se preocupen, trabajen mucho, ocupen su mente en, en cosas productivas, como lo son sus clases, ¿ok? Respecto a eso, pues, ya les había comentado, no estamos de vacaciones, estamos simplemente tomando nuestras clases desde casita, por lo que necesito mucho compromiso de parte de ustedes, mucha responsabilidad, sobre todo honestidad para contestar los ejercicios, evita utilizar Google Translate o que alguien te, te haga tus actividades, realízalas por ti mismo, si vas a cometer errores no pasa nada, los vamos a corregir juntos y si has tenido la oportunidad de ver los videos en, en vivo de Facebook, pues te darás cuenta que muchas de las actividades que van a aparecer aquí ya las contestaste. Si no tienes chance, puedes ir a los videos en donde estamos interactuando y quizás se te aclaren un poquito las dudas o los temas estén más específicos, porque incluso también analizamos los ejercicios en conjunto, ¿ok? Pero si no tienes oportunidad o no has tenido oportunidad, no te preocupes, para eso está el video, no te vas a perder del programa, las clases aquí están en este video, ¿ok? Um, ten por favor a la mano tu cuaderno, tu libro, pluma, lápiz, porque recuerda que son clases normales, obviamente en diferentes situaciones, en diferentes circunstancias, que es modalidad online, pero debes de tener tus apuntes en tu libreta, así mismo como tu libro completo. Además, que te recuerdo que me tienes que mandar foto de, como evidencia de todas las actividades que estás realizando, ¿ok? Más al final te voy a este, explicar cómo me las vas a enviar. So, let's start, guys, please. Ok, talking about the vocabulary, we already checked this vocabulary. In the classroom. Uh, the first vocabulary that we're going to check is musical instruments. Okay? So let's check. These are drums, bass guitar, saxophone, piano, violin, trumpet, keyboard, and the guitar. Okay? Remember this vocabulary? Mm, okay? So now it's like a memory game. Okay? Okay, try to point which is the correct picture that I'm going to name, okay? Uh, if you can't print this, it's perfect. Si puedes imprimir esta imagen, es perfecta. Si no, no te preocupes. Puedes anotar las respuestas en tu cuaderno, okay? Solo las respuestas. The number one, drums. Number two, bass guitar. Number three, saxophone. Number four, piano. Number five, violin. Number six, trumpet. Number seven, keyboard. Number eight, guitar. Okay? Okay, great. Next vocabulary. We already checked this in the classroom, into the classroom. Making music. Do you remember this verse? You wrote a sentence with each one. So, in your notebook, tienes que tener enunciados con estos verbos, ¿ok? Porque ya los habíamos checado en clase. According with those verbs, you're going to complete this activity, ¿ok? This is activity number... One, complete the text with the verbs. ¿Con cuáles verbos? Son los mismos verbos que te acabo de, de poner en la diapositiva anterior. Pero si te das cuenta, aquí ya están en diferente forma. You can find the verbs in third person singular. Sorry, este, um, in third person, simple present, with ing, with simple past, ok? They are mixed. So you have to put the correct verb in each line. Te recuerdo que si no tienes oportunidad de imprimir la pantalla, solamente puedes poner la respuesta. 
Sería ideal que lo imprimieras pues, para que supieras de qué se está hablando el texto, pero si no te es posible, no te preocupes, solamente escribe la respuesta. Next. That's activity one, ¿ok? Activity two. Warp it, page number 49. Algunos de ustedes ya la tienen contestada porque lo realizamos en clase eh, una semana antes de los exámenes, ¿ok? So, if not, don't worry. Try to answer, ¿ok? Ok, so let's check the grammar topic. Present perfect continuous. As you remember, the present perfect, you go, in present perfect you're going to use always the verbs have or has and the participle, ok? But here and in the continuous you're going to use ing and the verb to be. So, here in present perfect continuous is a mix of present perfect and present continuous. So, you have to use the verb have or has the participle and the verb to be and the ing that's the reason because your verb to be always is going to be in participle so it's going to be been okay great uh, also remember that you can use for or since that's up to you okay that's the structure copy in your notebook please okay Rule, copy this too. The present perfect continuous is used for action happening over a period of time. Example, the number one. Emphasize how long an activity has been happening. The activity may or may not be complete. Okay, example. I've been practicing the piano since 10 a.m. Okay, so maybe it's complete, maybe not, but I am emphasizing the how long the activity has been happening okay second one talk generally about situations or activities that started in the past and are still continuing now okay example i have been talking piano sorry i have been taking piano lessons for two years i have been taking piano lessons okay are activities that started in the past and still continuing now and the last one Talk about situations or activities that have stopped, but have a result in the present. Example, I have been playing the piano all day and I'm tired now, okay? The result in the present, I'm tired now. So, according to these rules, please, let's try to answer this. Identify rules and structures, okay? He has been talking or talk on the phone all morning. Yes, talking. I've been or been playing this game for hours now. Correct, been. I can say ing, ing. My dog hasn't or haven't been feeling well for a few days. Perfect, hasn't. Third person, I can't use haven't. They been been starting since 10 o'clock. Yes, it's the same situation that the number two. So it's been, I can't use ing, ing. Number five, we haven't or hasn't been living here for very long. Correct, it's haven't because we is not third person. The dog's been bark or barking for half an hour. Correct, ing. Been, ing. Barking. Perfect, guys. If you can print this, perfect. If not, you can copy on your notebook. Okay, so next, you're going to do this, activity 3, page number 46. Si ya viste los videos, ya tienes realizadas estas, um, estos ejercicios, but if not, please answer and complete, okay? It's in order to practice the present perfect continuous. Okay, next one. Grammar, activity 4. These guys, it's an activity, a new activity, ¿ok? Entonces, si ya has tenido las clases en vivo, esta es una actividad nueva para que puedas repasar. Uh, this is activity number 4. You have to put these verbs on these lines, ¿ok? Try to complete it. If you can print, print it. If not, copy, please, on your notebook. Ok, so now. Present perfect continuous versus present perfect. ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar presente perfecto continuo y cuándo vamos a ocupar el presente perfecto? 
Ok, I have here um, un cuadro comparativo de cada uno de los dos. Check. Present perfect continuous. Uh, sorry, present perfect is when the action is already finished. Ok, the kids have played for two hours. It's finished the action. But in present perfect continuous, the action continue. Unfinished actions. The kids have been playing since morning. Ok, the action continue. Next one. Permanent actions. I have taught English for 12 years. So it's an action that is permanent. But this is in a temporary action. I have been teaching this class for one hour. Okay? One hour, two years, permanent, temporary. Emphasis on the result of the action. Emphasis, sorry. He has repaired the car. He has repaired the car. It's the result. Emphasis on the duration. Not the result, the duration. He has been repairing the car for two hours. Indicate how much many have been completed. It has taken six years to write this book. Or indicate how long something has been happening. In the case of present continuous, I have been studying English for two months. It continues, the action continues, okay? So according with these uh, rules, you have to try to uh, identify in this activity which is the correct um, answer, if it's present perfect or if it's present continuous, ok? Si ya hiciste las actividades en vivo, ya tienes la mayor parte de ese ejercicio contestado. Si no, por favor, contéstalo. Ok, guys, so we're going to finish the class with a uh, listening exercise, ok? Have to mark the correct option. Una vez más, si puedes imprimir la pantalla, perfecto. Si no, solamente puedes poner pregunta y respuesta en tu cuaderno. Please listen. Si es necesario, puedes repetirlo hasta tres veces. No más, por favor, ¿ok? Ok, so, listen. And uh, put a mark in the correct letter, ¿ok? John Adway, Rack's Greatest Failure. John Adway has been playing music and making records in the UK for more than 40 years. Over the years, he has released more than 10 albums. He has played hundreds of concerts. He has written two auto autobiographies. He has worked with some of the country's best musicians. And he has even made a movie about his life. But despite all of this, most people have never heard of him. Oldway's first record came out in 1972. But it was the punk movement a few years later than, that really gave him his big chance. Oldway wasn't the greatest musician, but his songs were always fun, and his performance on the stage were always entertaining. There was a good chance he would fall off the stage at least one in each show. The punks liked him, and in 1977, he had a small hit when his single, Really Free, made it to number 27 on the UK Top 40 charts. All we really enjoyed his success, but unfortunately, no more came. Not one of his records over the next three years was a hit. Although he never had much commercial success, all we had a lot of very loyal fans. When someone asked him what he would like for his 50th birthday, his reply, his reply was a second hit. His fans went out and bought as many copies of the new single, Bouncing Burner, as they could, and in October, 2002 or 2002, and we finally saw his wish come true. On a chart that featured international superstars like Pink, Will Young, and Oasis, Bass and Burner made it to number 9. Many music stores refused to sell the record, saying that Oldway was too old and unattractive for the teenagers' market. Oldway didn't care. He celebrated his success with an appearance on British TV's biggest music show, Top of the Pops. Oh, sorry. These days, John Adwick continues to play his music around the UK, and there are always plenty of people who are happy to go and watch him perform. He's a great example for anyone who loves making music. You don't have to be young and good-looking or even very talented to enjoy a long career in the music business, okay? So, you're going to try to identify which is the correct answer, put a mark, and repeat if it's necessary. With this, uh, we finish the class, guys. Thank you for your attention. If uh, the my email is this Carla Alhaime Torres Bodet dot edu dot mx. Okay. Uh, favor chicos de enviar sus fotografías, actividad 1 y picture y en asunto su nombre completo y su grado. Thank you very much, guys. Love you.
See you next video. Bye.